To randomly create a password in Excel, we can use the rand between function, and we can also use the char function to append a symbol or a letter. Basically, we can use letters, numbers, and symbols to create our passwords. But let's start here with the easiest way first, that is to creating a password with numbers, and then we can create a stronger password using symbols and letters, for example. In this data set that I have right here, I have the employees' names and also here a column where I need to input, generate the password. Each one of the employees need to have their own password and this is what you're gonna do here. I'm gonna start using here the equal sign, the range between function. I can double click here in this function, one, two, to select. And the two criteria that are the range between function is asking me here is the bottom value and also here the top value. Basically, the range between function is gonna give you as result a random number in between the bottom value that you're going to input and also in between the top value. So it's a range from the bottom up to the top. As the bottom, I can start with a number. Basically, I need to hear a password with five digits. So I'm going to put here 10,000 comma and the highest number can be 90,000, for example, close parentheses and enter. Here we got our first password. And if I press the F9 key, the, the number is going to be automatically changed for me. I can also click here in the first password, click and hold and drag down to make sure now all the rows contain the same function and everyone here now have their own password. And we basically done. Of course, you can change the range if you want to do it. Like for example, I can increase two more digits in each one of the numbers, the bottom value and to the top value, for example, like this. I can double click here in the corner, down right corner of the cell. And here we, we got a password. Let's make something stronger here. We can also add, instead of only using numbers, we can also add here letters and symbols. And to do it, instead of using only the range between function, we're gonna need to use the char function here in Excel. Because the char function can take a number like maybe 65 and convert this number into a letter, for example, A. Here I am just giving you an example. If you use a number in between 65 up to 90, it's going to return to you the letters in between A up to Z. And if you want to use some symbols, you can use maybe a number that is a start from 33 up to 47. And of course, if you use numbers like 91, 92, and so on, so on, you're also going to have a symbol. This is just a simple example, okay? You can test, you can use another numbers to get different symbols. Let me show you here a simple and a practical example, equal sign char function. I can double click here in this function, one, two. See that uh, the only criteria, the only condition that the char function is asking me is a number. I can put here, let's say the number 65, because I know the number 65 corresponds to the letter A. Enter, and here I got the letter A. If I change it to 90, for example, like this, enter, I got the Z letter. And if I change it to 33, let's see what I'm gonna have here. I got here a symbol. No need, we can use the char function, we can append the char function and use together with the range between function to combine letters, numbers, and symbols. Char function, double click here. Instead of manually type a number, let's make Excel give me a number randomly. And to do it, I can use the range between function within the char function. Want you? Okay. See that now I have here the char function and within the char function, I have the range between function. Here I want a letter that can be A up to Z, for example. So the bottom is going to be equal to 65, comma, as the top number I'm going to use 90. Enter. Okay. And every time I update the spreadsheet using the F90 key, I'm going to have here a different letter. I can append a lot of different letters with each other. And to append one function to another, we need to use here the upper send. I can just double click here in this function that I just did before, char function with range between function. And I'm gonna append another char function here. So I can use the upper send to do it. So let's append here another range between function, one, two. This time I'm gonna use uh, four digits, for example, one, two, three, four, comma, one, two, three, four, close parentheses, enter. Every time I update here the spreadsheet, I'm gonna get a stronger password than before because now we have a letter and uh, four digit numbers. I can also improve it. And uh, let's say here, a percent to append another function. And I, I'm gonna append here a symbol. 
but I need to use the char function. Double click. And within the char function, I'm going to use the rand between function to randomly pick a symbol for me. That is can be from 33 up to 47, for example. 33, comma, 47. Close parentheses, close parentheses again. Enter. And here we got an even stronger password. We can continue to add symbols, letters, numbers to this function that we have here. And every time in Excel you have a function within another function, you can call it nested function. Here, for sure, we have a nested function. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how you can do a password in Excel. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below. And just one more important step here. If you want to stick with, let's say, this password right here, and uh, you don't want to change the password anymore, you don't want to update it anymore, you can basically select everything here, and then Control c to cope, right-click, and then you can paste values. That way, instead of now have a function, double-click here in the cell, as you guys can see, I have a text, so it's not a function anymore. And even though I'm pressing here the F9 key, as you guys can see, it's not going to update anymore for me because it's actually a text. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. As yes, every day has a new video, I see you there.